Hello, Strive Ride DIY, back with another video. Can you see the problem? It's not in the right place. I fell off last night, that's the back box and my exhaust. So today's video is gonna be replacing it. I've got another one. I haven't got a like for like, but I've got this one, which is, they assure me, fits. So there's two types of stock. There's this shape, and then there's this one, but apparently they're interchangeable. So we'll see how it goes anyway. Uh, cost me a lot of money. Euroflow, that's the part number. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, these things aren't, don't seem to be cheap anymore. Normally I can get hold of a second hand one or one that someone's pretty much given away, but I couldn't get one at all. I really need it, because I can't keep driving with no results on it. So that's today's video. So uh, let's see how it goes. So we're under the car, make sure you jack it up and chock it properly, put it on jack, put jack stands, uh, axle stands, that's where it's broke, it's just a clean break, it's got a rusted bolt there, clamp, I'm just going to cut that off, hopefully because it's beyond, it's just too rusted, it's about 10 years old this exhaust so it's uh, the original, two hangers, one there, one there, I've got the uh, rubber, already so I'm gonna use reuse them uh, so I'm gonna to have to try and cut that off and see how we get on hopefully that sleeve what's left will just come straight off with a bit of a uh, bit of a hit with a hammer so we'll see so I'm gonna do that next and then uh, get back to you show you what's uh, what's next so uh, Got the old angle grinder on it, had to cut it all off. Uh, that's what it looks like. The actual clamp was welded onto it. So this is from the factory. So I thought I could just cut it and it'd fall off, but it wasn't, it was welded onto it. So I had to cut it all the way down here and give it a, hit it with a hammer. And it came, well, pretty much, to fight with it a little bit, but it's come off. Uh, it's not pretty, but it worked. Uh, I have gone into it a little bit. But hasn't gone through so all that i'll clean all that up rub it down uh, and then hopefully the new one will go on it i suspect i'm going to be changing the middle bit soon uh, it's looking a bit rusty but it's not blowing at the moment but the clamp there's a clamp further down i think i'm going to, to, I'm going to change that because it when i did the mid, when i did the front flexi pipe I, I think I'll use the same one, but I never thought it would tight properly. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to clean that up and then we'll see if the new one fits all right. Well, I'm going to take these off. So, might have seen these before. Great bit of kit. So. Easy as that. Loads of these on eBay. Make sure you get some if you're doing an exhaust. Not very dear either. About seven quid. I think these cost me. This is my uh, exhaust box. Always worth having a few uh, bits. Always got spare bones and things like that. If you're going to do a job. Kits, all various kits, camp kits. If something goes wrong. A lot of this stuff I've collected, just picked up with all the leftovers from the kits and things like that. Some of it's really, really old. Had them over a few years. Gaskets. Well, these are always worth having. Especially if you've got a Honda or something like that. Got all different things in here. Spring, spring bolts. Always worth having to put it on. They always rust up. So yeah, this is a box, always worth having a box of spares when you're doing work on your own car. So I'm just cleaning it up, cleaning the end up for this. Get one of these for your drill, really good. Just, uh, clean at the end, work for the night. So, um, so when you put the new one on, there's no rust getting in between and we'll use some uh, exhaust gunk in between as well, just to seal up the join. 
Right, so it's gone on. Got some paste on, I'll wipe that off in a minute before it goes hard. Uh, I did change the uh, the rubber bungs in the end, those ones are really well worn and to uh, sort of sag them down a little bit because of the weight of the other one. Uh, there's a clamp there, so push it into the pipe first, into there, and then attach these two. Make sure you get underneath it. Fits really, really well. Really happy with that, to be honest. Uh, I thought I was going to have to play around with it quite a bit. So I'm going to tighten that clamp down and clean it off. So hopefully that'll be in. Uh, that'll be job done. Well happy. Right, so we're uh, pretty much in situ. Obviously, when uh, I put the clamp in, tighten it right down, 13 mil uh, nuts on it. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much in place. Got my new bungs in place. Obviously, we're going to lower the car down and make sure nothing's banging the underneath or whatever. That tends to be the sticking point of a lot of these things is whether it hits the bottom of the uh, car. I've had a few times where it's all right when you're up, but as soon as you go down, it starts hitting on the bottom of the car, but hopefully it won't. So uh, yeah, we'll get it down, clear up, and then we'll uh, turn the car on and make sure there's no leaks. And hopefully, jobs are good. Un. Right, that's finished. Been out of the test drive, all good, no leaks. Runs lovely, nice shiny new exhaust. New, new uh, rubber bungs, hangers, whatever you want to call them. New clamp, everything's good. So we're back on the road, all good. So just to finish off, this is the, uh, this is the culprit. Not a fan of these Vauxhall exhausts, they really, really are heavy. So if something breaks, the whole thing's going to come down. You could do a really have a hanger there. If I had a hanger there, then it's not going to cause any problems because if this falls off on the road while you're driving, it's going to cause a lot of problems for the driver behind you if these hangers break. Uh, so all you've got is that bit there. So once that rusts, that's it. That's your problem. It just breaks off. I mean, you could, could weld it if you wanted to, but seeing it welded, they don't last very long. So that's that. Not a uh, pretty straightforward job, really. Make sure you've got some good tools. Angle grinder. Cut this. This is welded there. Surprise! That was welded at the factory. I mean, this is probably ten years old. It's as old as the car, I believe. Gen this was a genuine silencer. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Uh, we did put a, a different type of back box on which fitted absolutely perfectly. Uh, so there is two kinds out there that both fit interchangeable. And that's it, no more to say really. So I uh, hope you found this helpful uh, on, a, on DIY, driveway DIY. Uh, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, do all the things, any comments, anything you want, any questions. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>